clock is ticking for protesters to clear out next to the Federal Immigration Building in Southwest Portland. In fact, the mayor, Ted Wheeler, giving them until midnight to move out or face arrest. You know, those campers have been on site there for more than five weeks now, protesting federal immigration policies. Our Lisa Balick live there again this afternoon with the latest for us. What can you tell us, Lisa? Jeff, we've seen a lot of changes in the past few hours. First of all, Southwest Bancroft has been reopened by federal officers just a few minutes ago, and we've seen a constant flow of campers heading out of camp. They tell me now it's not worth getting arrested at this point. Now, most of those leaving by bike or car are heading out through the back of the camp by the Tesla dealership. We watched several make a lot of trips back and forth into camp where they have lived since mid-June. Portland police posted notices in camp last night around 9, saying the campers were trespassing by camping on the public property and putting up structures on the public property. They were given until midnight tonight to get out or be arrested. A lot of them heading out. I talk with some of those who are leaving. We would hope that the city continue not to uh, crack down on protesters. We don't want anyone getting hurt. We want uh, the safety of everyone. Ultimately, the city is going to be uh, acting in uh, whatever way they see best. Now, several protesters told me they will head to Tacoma and join the anti-ice protests going on there. Meanwhile, some of the campers do intend to stay past midnight and face arrest. The mayor says he's ordering the camp be disbanded because of safety concerns for people who live or work or do business in the area. Now, some of those here at the camp told me there was a meeting last night, and that's where there was generally a consensus saying, look, we should leave right now. Our message has been heard. And again, we're not going to be allowed back into this area, so let's go to other protests where they're going on, as well as vigils that would be going on. But a lot of the campers say they found that their message has been heard by the people who've been down here and seeing the broadcasts. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. All right, Lisa, thank you for that afternoon update. And we'll be watching the Occupy ICE protest to see if those campers do indeed leave.